Hello friends, welcome back to our new video that is MCQs on Applied Microbiology. Okay, so this is the first part or the part one of this series of videos on MCQs on Applied Microbiology. So the first question is Cytotoxic drugs and expired drugs are disposed by incineration, deep burial or chemical treatment or by autoclaving and the right answer is option a that is by incineration so cytotoxic drugs and expired drugs are exposed uh, disposed by incineration okay so move on to the next question that is what is the most preferred method of management of the blood stained clothes and the options are autoclaving chemical treatment deep burial or incineration and the right answer is option C that is deep burial so deep burial is the most preferred and more, most preferred method of management of the blood stained clothes okay so next question dekhenge. so next question is MCC that is the most common cause of catheter induced UTI that is urinary tract infection is E. coli or Klebsiella or Pseudomonas or Staphylococcus aureus and the right answer is option A that is E. coli. So E. coli is the most common cause of catheter induced urinary tract infection. Okay. So next question abhi dekhenge. So next question is transient colonization is caused by HSV or Trichomonas vaginalis or Staphylococcus aureus or all of the above and the right answer is option D that is all of the above. So all of these are transient colonization <coughs> and this transient colonization is caused by HSV, Trichomonas vaginalis, Staphylococcus aureus by all of these microorganisms and what is transient colonization? This transient colonization means microorganisms that colonize people for hours to weeks but do not establish themselves permanently. Okay, so this is known as transient colonization. So move on to the next question that is which of the following is the main colonizer of sebaceous gland and the options are propionibacterium acnes, diphtheria, Streptococcus pyogens or Staphylococcus aureus and the right one is uh, sorry another option is Candida and the right one is option A that is Propionibacterium acne. So Propionibacterium acne is the main colonizer of sebaceous gland. Okay, so uh, Next question they can give So next question is most common cause of UTI in neonate UTI means urinary, urinary tract infection okay so most common cause of urinary tract infection in neonate is options are e coli or staphylococcus aureus or enterococcus or pseudomonas and the right answer is option a that is e coli so most common cause of uti in neonate is e coli okay so so next question is microorganisms invading the git causing gastroenteritis and GIT means gastrointestinal tract okay so microorganisms invading the gastrointestinal tract causing gastroenteritis is options are enterohemorrhagic escherichia coli that is EHEC or shigella or vibrio parahemolyticus or campylobacter or all of the above and the right answer is option E that is all of the above so microorganisms invading the GIT causing gastroenteritis are EHEC, Shigella, Vibrio paramyloiticus and Campylobacter okay so move on to the next question that is most common non lactose fermenting organism that causes UTI in patient with catheter in situ that is E. coli or Proteus or Enterococcus or Pseudomonas and the right one is option D that is 
pseudomonas so pseudomonas is the most common non lactose fermenting organism that causes uti in patient with catheter in c2 okay so next question abhi dekhenge so next question is a man present to a std clinic that is sexually transmitted disease clinic with uh, erythritis and uteral discharge and gram stain shows numerous pus cells but no microorganisms the culture is negative on the routine laboratory media so the most likely agent is chlamydia trachomatis or hemophilus uh, dukeri dukeri or trypanoma pallidum or neisseria gonorrhoeae and the right answer is option a that is chlamydia trachomatis okay so this is the right answer so move on to the next one which of the following is the most common source of scp that is single cell protein and the options are multicellular yeast single celled yeast or unicellular algae or unicellular bacteria and the right answer is option b that is single cell yeast so single cell yeast is the most common source of scp so next one is a 30 year old male patient present with erythritis and all of the following can be the causative agent except neisseria gonorrhoeae or chlamydia trachomatis or trichomonas vaginalis or hemophilus dukeri and the right answer is option d that is hemophilus dukeri Okay. So, a 30 year old male patient present with urethritis, all of the following can be causative agent except Haemophilus dukeri. Okay, so move on to the next one. That is most common organism to cause acute osteomyelitis is Staphylococcus aureus or Escherichia coli or Pseudomonas or Streptococcus pyogens and the right one is the option A that is staphylococcus aureus so staphylococcus aureus is the most common organism to cause acute osteomyelitis okay so next question kya hai so next question hai monascus purpureus is utilized in the production of citric acid ethanol statins or streptokinase and the right one is option c that is statins so statins is the so monascus purpureans is utilized in production of statins okay so next question they can get next question hai coliform count is done by vr medium or maconkis agar or multiple tube method or none and the right one is option c that is multiple tube method so coliform count is done by multiple tube method okay so next question hai in which of the following conditions the spread of the rash, rash is centrifugal options are dengue smallpox rmsf or erythema multiform and the right one is option d that is erythema multiform so erythema multiform in is the uh, in the following condition the spread of the rash is centrifugal so for this the rush is centrifugal so what is centrifugal distribution of disease so centrifugal distribution means rashes are mainly rashes uh, rashes are mainly on extremites okay so here we can see the picture so this is like happen in this disease that is erythema multiform okay so move on to the next question so next one is arthropod bone disease is or are plague lyme's disease or borrelia recurrentis or malaria or all of the above and the right one is option e that is all of the above so all of the above diseases are arthropod bone disease okay so next question the next question here 
200 out of 440 people attended a party and some of them had diarrhea after 24 hours and they ate oyster hamburger ice cream and potato salad so what is the likely cause so the options are vibrio parahemolyticus or salmonella enteritis or yersinia enterocolitis or staphylococcus aureus and the right answer is option a that is vibrio parahemolyticus so vibrio parahemolyticus is the likely cause of this diarrhea causing disease so sorry not, this is not a disease so causing diarrhea okay so move on to the next one that is indications of use of antibiotic in acute diarrhea include bacillary dysentery cholera caused by shiga like toxin producing e coli or all of the above and the right one is option d that is all of the above so indications of use of antibiotic in acute diarrhea include all of these options okay so move on to the next one that is class c biological terrorism is by hunter virus or ebola virus or crimin congo virus or hiv or marburg virus and the right one is option a that is hunter virus so hunter virus is the class c biological terrorism <coughs> used okay so what is class c biological terrorism or the what is biological terrorism so, and their classes so here we can see the category a agent are considered the highly risk and the highest priority and category b agents that means cat category b biological terrorism agents are the second highest priority and category c our agents are the third highest priority and included emerging pathogens that could be engineered for mass spread in the future as a biological terrorism okay so move on to the next one that is the last question of this video that is which of the following drugs should be sold only on prescription of a registered medical practitioner and uh, options are scheduled H drugs, scheduled X drugs, scheduled J drugs or scheduled Y drugs and the right answer is option A that is scheduled H drug. So scheduled H drug should be sold only on prescription of a registered medical practitioner okay. So these are all 20 questions that is uh, in a part one of this series of video on MCQs on applied microbiology okay so thank you for watching this video